Hi there, I'm here again bringing more interesting facts and studies from Bougay. Uh, and we have here Sensei Chago Finoche and Luis Nogueira training for the last moments before the graduation exams. And they are studying a very interesting thing with rope techniques and knots. So can you please explain us, Luis Nogueira-san, uh, what is Shibaru? Of course. Shibaru are the restraining techniques. We are using ropes, but it's different from a uh, hojujutsu technique. Hojujutsu is used usually for um, not only restraining, but moving a prisoner from one point to the other. Shibaru is uh, commonly employed under war situations, war techniques. And in this case, what we are uh, trying to perform, it's uh, a complex knot when we are restraining the ankles and the wrist. From this point, we have arrived to this in order that he's in a seiza position, and we have uh, led him to, uh, to, to read this position from, from this side with a topical technique. I will employ here, sit down to the ground, and from here, I will take out my rope in order to restrain firstly his ankle and after his wrist. Can from you show? Can you show us the ankle? Yes. In this situation, we have here the right ankle in this position, okay, is restrained, and with a small uh, distance between the wrist and the ankle, we have the other knot. This avoids him to take out this hand. From here, or following aim, it's to avoid to take out the elbows. Then we have passed the rope outside his body in order to restrain his elbows. And from here, we have restrained the other wrist. From here, this wrist, he can move, he can uh, go away from this knot. But now, what we are going to do, it's to pass from here in order to make this knot stronger than from here, passing again, making this distance so small and so short. From here, we have this point. Then he has, to the right ankle, both hands uh, restrained. Now, uh, the most commonly used uh, restraining or knot technique is to put the other ankle over both hands in order to make uh, like a sandwich with his ankles and his hands, his wrist on this position. So you're basically isolating any possibility of getting out of this yeah. situation. Yeah, it's impossible in this situation to go away from or to escape from this, uh, from this control because now we are going to pass over his uh, left ankle here and passing the rope in order to control. The last thing that we will do, it's an ending knot from here and here. I am saying that it's the ending knot because in this position, if we have this knot, we could uh, apply several more sequences on this point because we could go to the head or the neck and passing here in order to control and moreover choking, a choking technique with a knot because we are talking about war techniques. We are not talking about, in this case, we are not caring about the health, about the safety of the knot. We are... So this is not for transporta transporting the prisoner? Hoyujutsu is for transport. In this case, it's to restrain. Other thing that we can do is to apply this knot passing to the side, to the back side, uh, and restraining him to a tree or restraining him to a pole or any other vertical object that could restrain himself because in this case it's to execute, it's to, to have a, a special control under war situations. Then in this position, please, uh, Sensei Chao, can you, can you go out or are you completely yeah, restrained? Not really, really tight. As we are here, the tightness of the of the knot makes him to avoid to go out. If we could, if we want to do it more strong, we could pass to this side and tie him to the other wrist. Then he will be a double pressure. Then making here a knot will be more uh, pressed. He will be 
unable to escape in any kind of situation. Thank you very much, Sensei. Thank you. We'll still bring you more videos with um, some very interesting cultural aspects. And thank you too. Thank you very much. Good explanation. Bye bye.